I want to show you some tricks for working with formulas more easily in a Google Sheet. We'll start off with three ways you can find something about your data without even writing a formula. And then I'll show you how you can make it easier to work with ranges by giving them names, how you can see parts of your formula, what the value is, especially for longer, more complicated formulas, and finally, how you can use array formula to simplify how many formulas you actually need in your data. To start off, I have this spreadsheet here with vendor rating. So we have a vendor who rated the vendor, the rating for three different areas, quality, price, and speed, and finally uh, some places that we'll fill in later. So first off, some things I can find out about my data without a single formula is quick numbers to start. So if I select a column, in the bottom right hand corner is information about that column. So right now it's telling me there are 26 values in this column. And if I scroll down, I'll see there are in fact 26 rows. If I select a column with a number in it, I'll see a drop down where I can actually click and see more information here. The sum of the values, the smallest, the highest, that counts, how many numbers are actually in here. So in some cases, this is really all you need to learn more about your data. Another tool I can use is a new feature under the data tab called column stats. So I'll select a column and click column stats and they open up on the right hand side. And to start off, this is going to show me information about one column at a time. I can use the arrows to kind of toggle through. And as I scroll down through here, it's going to show me information about the column. So how many times did each value appear, for example? Which values appeared the most? or the least. And again, at the bottom, information about how many unique values, how many total rows or empty cells. And if I toggle over to a column with numbers in it, I'll see a little more here of how my values spread out between one and five. And I can see numbers for averages, sums, and things like that. A third way I can learn about my data without writing a formula is through Explore. So this little green icon on the bottom right, when I click this, it's going to open up a tool where I can ask questions using words about my data. And there'll be a couple of different suggested questions I can ask here. Uh, I could start off by saying average rating, use the column headers, want two for example, and hit enter and it's going to give me the average of that column. I can click on formula to actually see the formula we use, drag it over to my sheet if I want to use it, or I can choose to insert a chart for that. So let's talk a little bit about a formula now. In this sheet, we want to make a total rating to add up all the ratings that Thomas Hodges gave to Acme Windows. So we'll put this rating in F2. To make a formula, I'll select the cell and we start with an equal sign, and that tells it's a formula. If you want to explore a lot of specific functions, you can find them under the function sign in the toolbar, but in this case, I'm just going to use a plus sign. I want to add up the ratings for each of these characteristics here, and what I'll do is while I have that equal sign, I'm going to click on each cell, make a plus sign, and then the next cell that I want to add up. A couple of things to note here. As I type this, it's populated the same thing in the formula bar near the top left. Also, I can see kind of a little hover card here that's showing me the value I'll get when I actually enter this formula. And finally, the other thing I can do is if I select, I hold my mouse over just one element, it'll tell me what that value is. So if I want to select only part of the formula, it'll tell me what that part of the formula evaluates to. And this can be really helpful when you get a bigger formula and you want to see exactly how the formula is getting the result. So when I hit enter, I'll get the value in that cell instead of the formula. I can click to see the formula again in the toolbar though. And I've actually put a conditional formatting rule on this sheet. So wherever there's a formula, it will get this orange background on it. Now, I obviously want to populate this formula down the whole column. There's a couple ways to do that. I can click in this little blue corner and drag it down, but there's an easier way. I'm going to undo that up here in the top left, undo. The other thing you can do when you want to copy down a whole row is this little blue box in the corner of the cell. You can double click on that 
and it will populate down so long as there are values to the side of it, it'll keep populating it down. That's great if this is my fixed data, but let's say I'm going to add more rows later, I'd have to recopy that down again, plus I have all these formulas in my sheet that might get changed and then confuse my data. So I'm going to undo that and I want to show you another way to do this, and that is with array formula. Array formula is a formula that fills up more than one cell. So it takes the data from a lot of cells and then it fills up kind of the equivalent cells for that. So in other words, instead of adding up C2, D2, and E2, I want to add up all of C, all of D, and all of E for each row, put the value in F. So to do that, I'll do array formula. And the steps that I'll use for creating an array formula is on the bottom here. So the first step is to write the base formula. And I've done that here when I did C2 plus D2 plus E2. So the second step is to put the array formula around it. So I can manually type array formula around it with the parentheses and that will work. But there's actually a quicker way I'll show you as well using keyboard shortcuts. To wrap it in array formula on Windows, you'll do Control Shift Enter, and on Mac it's Command Shift Enter, and that will automatically wrap the formula with array formula. So I've done step two, wrapped it in array formula. The next thing I want to do is expand the range or ranges. So in this case, I don't want to just add up C2, but all of column C. So I'll do C2 colon C, and it will be the whole column. And same thing, D2 colon D, the whole column. E2 colon E, the whole column. And now when I hit enter, you'll see my one formula has now populated down the entire column. And if I were to go ahead and add more values here, you can see it's going to sum up all of those as I add more columns through the sheet. Now, of course, to actually use this data, I need to find out the highest average rating by vendor. Now, the best way to do that, honestly, is with a pivot table, and I've kind of created that in the bottom here already. A uh, pivot table or a query formula option. You can take a look at the demo sheet to see how those work. But if we want to use formulas to do this, I need to get a list of all my vendors. So I'm going to use a unique formula to do that. I'm going to say I want all the unique values from column A. So I'll use the formula unique. I'm going to uh, open the parentheses and the range would be column A and I don't need any of the other qualifications here and parentheses enter and I will get all the unique values from column A. So the next thing I want to do is do an average if formula. We're going to be referring to this column A, this vendor column and another great trick for working with formulas is to name the range. So when I want to talk about this column I can just say vendor. So let's start doing that. One of the easiest ways to name a range in Google Sheets is to select the range you want to name. In this case, I clicked on the A up at the top of my column, and then near the top left where it says A colon A, I'm just going to type the name I want here. And I'm going to go ahead and type Vendor. I did all lowercase, hit enter, and I've renamed the range. The other place you can find this function is under Data and Named Ranges. So now that I've named my range, I'm going to write an average if formula. So over here next to my Acme Windows in cell I3, I'm going to do equals and I'm going to use average if. Because I only want to average the total ratings if the vendor is equal to the vendor here, Acme Windows. So when I start typing a formula, I'm going to jump up here into the formula bar and I'll point out that if you don't see any helper information about a formula, click on the blue formula help option here, the question mark, or you can do F1 as it says on my keyboard and that will open up kind of the helper here. And you can click on the expand option to see even more information about the formula you're working on. So what I need here is the criteria range first off. So this is the range I'm going to check my criterion against. My criterion is that it matches the that vendor here, Acme Windows. And where do I want to check for that? In that vendor column I just made. So I'm going to type in that name I, I created earlier. And you can see as I start to type that name, vendor, it populates this suggestion for me. And go ahead and click on it to add it. 
and then I'll do a comma and I move on to the next part of my formula, the criterion. So in this case, I want to match the first vendor in my list over here in H3. So I'll click on Acme Windows and that's going to put in the H3 cell. It'll look for that. I'll do a comma to get to my final option here and this is the average range. Which values do I want to average? And in this case, it's the total rating column F. I want to look at the whole column so I'm going to go ahead and click on the F at the top of the column and then I can end my parenthesis, hit enter, and I will see my average rating for Acme Windows. Now um, we could try the array formula trick with this, so I'll show you what happens when I try. I've wrapped this formula in array formula and I'm going to expand my range. I don't want to look at H3, I want to look at H3 through H7, so I'm going to try expanding that out to H7, hit enter, and you'll see nothing changes because not all formulas are compatible with array formula so in this case we cannot use array formula to kind of simplify this we'll have to actually copy the formula down in this case so I can click on the little blue square here copy it down and I will see all of my vendor ratings right there so we took a lot of tricks how you can work with formulas or even not a formula but learn more about your data through tools in Google Sheets. Lots of powerful options to check out.